man, I was watching something like an hour and a half or two ago of the, this family, right? Um, the Thurpin family. I think that's how you say it. These two are like religious fucking, like, psychos. They went by the Bible and they abused their 15 kids that they, these 15 kids didn't ask to be born, you know, and fucking this one girl, Jordan Thurpin, she had the courage and she was brave enough to escape that house, right, and called the police because there was abuse at that house. There was, they put them in chains, they locked them up in the bed. What the fuck, man? What's up with these fucked up natalists? You know what I mean? Like, those natalists are fucked up, man. They fucking brought a kid... They brought these 15 kids to fucking abuse them, and, and they don't give them enough food, and you know what was fucked up? They moved around a lot, and they moved somewhere, and there's this one time they say that these... These par these natalists, these parents left their kids at the house. They're fi all fifteen of them, and they would just drop off food here and there, and it wasn't enough for fifteen. And so, one of these kids were fucking eating grass and leaves, and what the fuck? That is so like that was, it, that's so fucked up, man. <laughs> and. These kids don't have enough to eat. They feel skinny. They don't have enough to, like, they don't, like, these parents, these fucking parents don't even wash their clothes. So these kids are are forced to go to school and they get made fun of because they're super skinny and they fucking have, they didn't have clean clothes on. And you know what's fucked up? The teachers didn't do nothing about it. Like, they usually do. They just diagnosed these kids label them without look, checking out the parents. You know what I mean? These fucking natalists. Fucked up, man. And if they say, like, hold on a second, I'm looking for something here. What do I do with that? Um, is it over here? Or over here? Hold on, guys. Hold on. I'm fucking losing this lighter, man. I hate when I lose this shit. Hold on. Ugh. What the hell did I do with it? Did I drop it somewhere? Hold on. Let me see if I can lie with this one. This one doesn't work. Yeah, hold on. I gotta find it here real quick. Sorry about that, guys. I don't know where I put this lighter. What did I do with this thing? You know what I mean? Fuck it. But, but anyways, they wouldn't give these kids their basic needs as a survival. Very little of it. Oh my gosh, right there. <laughs> I didn't feel it in my pocket. Like, these, these fucking parents, like, they just fucking, they said, this one, the lady, the, the mom, I guess, was a religious psycho. She read the Bible and she says, oh, God tells you you gotta have a lot of kids in this world. And she did. And she abused them. And she says, God, if you don't listen to God, God will punish you. So that means, like, th these parents are gods and they... If these kids say something, like, they need something from them, they put them in time out. They lock them up in chains. And what the fuck, dude? That's why I don't want to bring kids in this world, man. This, this shit is so fucked up. You know? So much physical abuse going on and mental abuse these kids have to suffer through. And these kids are not even educated in these school, Like, educated from these parents. They... They isolated them and didn't even bring them to school, hardly at all. They homeschooled them because the one guy, the the dad is like a principal in the 
and the mom's like a teacher, so they didn't ha like um they had like the the right to homeschool school them or something. So these people wouldn't find out if something fishy was going on because they got the upper hand of being a teacher and a principal. You know, shit was fucked up, but long story short, she escaped. She, Jordan, the, she's like the eighth, like, child or something. She escaped the house, called the police. The, at least the police got, the cop, like, didn't think it was uh, crazy because they thought it was crazy at first. She's lucky that she showed proof to the cop because if she didn't have proof, this shit would be going on still. And um, she had pictures of what's going on, like in her iPhone, you know. Man, shit was so fucked up. It looked like a hoarder house when you, the, the, when the police arrived in their house and like messed up shit. And th this girl had like, the mom had like, um, she had a collection of toys or something and if the kids fucking stole it or something, they would punish them. <laughs> and they need it. They need to play around to, to, just to distract themselves. Or if they stole f certain foods, they would punish them. And they gave these kids very little. You know what this fucked up part is about that sh this shit? They say, oh, you're not getting these things because you guys are expensive. You guys are too much to take care of. Then why bring why bring people here? That's your goddamn fault, you natalists. You bring 15 kids here. They're going to fucking ask for food. Just sim simple things. Food, clo clean clothes, and fucking water. You know, and fucking these fucking natalists. These natalists, like, say they just blame it on the kids. They don't, they don't like... They have an ego. They don't hump on themselves. You know, and... <laughs> these these At least these guys are rotting in prison for a lo long time. You know, and these kids are so fucked up that they get PTSD and see PTSD in their heads <laughs> from all that shit, dude. All the, they, they have, they're going to be suffering from this shit. You know, at least she saved all her siblings. You know, at least I hope they don't bring kids in this world because that shit can happen again. You know what I mean? So that shit is so fucking messed up. Shit really pissed me off when they dropped off a tiny bit of food and the, these kids, when it ran out, they had to eat leaves, grass. <laughs> Fucking ice cubes. What the fuck? Ketchup. You know what I mean? If you guys want to check this out, it's a ABC 50 for 50. And it's 15 kids that are abusing their homes and they're locked in their homes. Like, they're kept in hostage. They're, it's called the Thurpin family or some shit like that. Locked in the house. You know? Shit is so fucked up, man. <laughs> I can't believe it. Like, there's so much abuse going on. It's not just that. There's other abuse, like emotional abuse, like I've been through. And there's this severe abuse. That's severe. You know, I my shit's like mild abuse. No, it doesn't matter in the spectrum of abuse. Like, mild abuse to the severe abuse, it shouldn't be going on. You know, and too many kids are abused these days. No wonder there's so much mental illness and shit like that, you know. I just hope they... Bring, they these kids don't bring other kids here and shit. And they just enjoy... They try and enjoy their lives, man. You know, in some way. Until they're... Until they, they're free from this fucking chaotic world. You know... That is so terrible what happened to those kids, man. You know, it just made me feel so angry, man. That shit what I just watched. Oh, my God. <laughs> There's so many fucked up people in this world. <laughs> Too many. 
and there's so many fucked up people that it's not even on the news. That's how bad it is, man. She could even, like, she didn't even, like, know what certain words mean. Like, she didn't even know what medication was, this Jordan Therapin, or what injuries were, you know, because she wasn't taught. All her siblings had to teach these had to teach each other the English English language because the parents didn't send them to school. They didn't teach them nothing. They just kept them in the house, locked them up because all because they believe in this fucking god, you know, this fucking authoritarian, this fucking fucked up god, dude. That's ruined their minds. <laughs> you know these religious fucked up people. Not saying all were li like. I'll say there's religious people that that are fucking not crazy like them, you know. There's religious people that have good in them, but they shouldn't be fucked up like that, you know. <laughs> that is ridiculous. That just proves that religions in these Bibles, these religious shit, there's religions all over the place in the Bible, it has fucked up shit in it. You know, and people just interpret it their own way. You know? Sick, man. It's a sick world we're living in, dude. Gosh. How fucked up is that? You know? So fucked up. Oh, man, I just, I just hate that shit. Like, the, you just see all these 50 for 50s and... Why are they, there are so many fucked up ones, so many, like, fucked up stories. It makes you not want to bring someone here, because it can happen to your kid. Why bring someone here? You know what I mean? Why bring someone here to do this pointless task of nine to fives, fucking doing things you're forced to do, like, go to church, you're forced to do that, even though, like, you want to believe in something else, or... Fucking, you're forced to go to school. You're forced to do a job. You're for if you don't, then if you don't do those, then you're forced to be homeless. You're forced to like, oh, it goes on and on and on and on, and then you just aging and more suffering. The more every year, and you just die. <laughs> you know, it's so pointless. But anyways, that's a fucked up story that I just saw on YouTube, man. It just makes me so angry about the world. <laughs> I just hope those kids get a peace of mind, man. Have some peace from this that shitty experience they had. I just felt so... F gosh. You know what I mean? Ridiculous. But that's it for this video. I'll catch you guys next week with videos.